Alright guys, so first we're going to start out by taking the end of a sectioning comb and just parting the hair into two. You can do this in the middle or on the side, wherever you like to part your hair and wherever you want the braids to split. Then I just like to brush through one side and tie it in a elastic just so that we don't get any of this side in the other braid. And then what you want to do is spray the hair with like an argan oil or a smoothening cream. This one's an argan oil plus a heat protectant I think. I will leave the name of it down below. I like to brush out the hair so there's no knots and so it's nice and smooth. Then I just get the sectioning comb and just take a nice little triangle at the front of the hair and just section that out into three. And what I'm going to do is take the outer corner and tuck it under and into the middle. If you can kind of see this, it's so hard to try and explain. That's why I've actually got different angles in this video and um, I use a few different techniques as well. So I will show you that throughout and just jump in and talk whenever I need to. But I think the best way to learn is just to watch all different kinds of techniques and just find the one that really suits you and the one that works best for you. You want to try and keep the Dutch braids as tight as possible, so as closest to the head as possible. And then you can go in at the end and loosen them up and make them look um, more thicker and stuff. The sections that you are grabbing, the size of the sections really depend on how big you want the braids or how messy or whatnot. Um, so yeah, the best way to do it is just to play around and to see what works best for you. Just for the heads up, this Medican hair isn't the best quality. That's why you can see like all the bits of flyaways and stuff and there's all little gray bits running through the hair. So I just wanted to um, clear that up for you guys. I just wanted to jump in here real quick. Um, this is actually another technique that you can use. With the section that you are wrapping under, you can actually lift it up and like smooth out the hair or grab the section nicely. You'll be able to see it again in a minute um, when it gets around to it. But yeah, see how I'm actually lifting it up so I can grab a nice and neat section and connect the two sections without any of the other section getting in. This is so hard to explain and it's probably so confusing. So I'm just gonna stop talking now and let you guys watch. When I get down to the back of the neck, I like to make sure that I keep the braid super close and super tight to the head because you don't want any of the back of the hair to drip down or anything. So yeah, I like to keep it really tight and close and as you can see here, I'm just going down and just doing a normal plait to the end of the braid. Um, also you can use bobby pins if you have any of like um, fallout on the back part of the neck and just like bobby pin it up and stick it up underneath the braid. So yeah, I'm just going to do the other side completely the same, making sure that I match it to the other side of the braid, like how it's running down the middle of the head.
So this is what the braid looks like when it's finished, um, but I then like to go in and pull apart the braid just so it gives that illusion that the braid is a lot more thicker than what it actually is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.